Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to show you how to spin off new geolocation apps using the GeoPoint platform. The first step is prepping dataset reports for your uh, geolocation uh, app to consume. As you can see, I added two datasets, one for hot accounts and another for uh, opportunities by stage. So if we open up one of these uh, data sets and if you click on the other tab, you'll see where you can grab these data set IDs. So I'm already on the setup page. So go ahead and uh, click uh, Lightning App Builder. Now we're on the Create Lightning page. Click the App page, click Next. For the purpose of this demo, we'll go with the one column, uh, click Next. And go ahead and give it a name. All right, uh, on the visual editor towards the bottom, you'll see the GeoPoint nearby component. Uh, go ahead and drag that over to the add uh, components uh, here area. Let's go ahead and paste the data set uh, report ID. Uh, next, we'll go ahead and modify the uh, component label. And the max range, we'll do 25 miles. As for the record limit, um, let's go ahead and set that to five. Now go ahead and check uh, only show high quality geocodes. This will ensure that the list that is fetched only shows uh, records with high quality addresses. All right, so now that one's in there. So let's do the same for the uh, opportunities by stage. Let's go ahead and drag the component over towards the bottom. Okay, uh, go ahead and give it a save and let's activate. On the activation page, uh, I'm going to activate for all users. And maybe we want to change the icon, so let's go ahead and select the map. Uh, for lightning experience, let's go ahead and just add it. Uh, most importantly, let's add this to Salesforce One. And maybe we want to um, change the position of it so it's next to the map. Now let's take a look in Salesforce One and, and see how, how this works. So at a glance, I can see hot accounts. I can see opportunities by stage. Now if I click here on the little map icon, that'll open up GeoPoint. So let's go ahead and do that. And from here, I can add other layers to the map or, or add these to a route. All right, well, that is all for now. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.